Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope everyone's keeping safe and well. Um, today I thought I'd do a little video for you. We are going to be making some vanilla cupcakes. It's a really easy one, it's quick, and I thought it's a nice thing for us to do whilst we're kind of stuck indoors a bit. Okay, so I'll just run through really what you need, first of all. Um, you're going to need 120 grams of butter, 120 grams of self-raising flour, 120 grams of sugar, so they're all the same. You're going to need one egg, a little bit of vanilla extract if you have some, if you don't, don't worry, um, and a drop of milk as well, just a little bit of milk. So that's what we need to get started. Now, before I do anything, I've made sure I've washed my hands. They're really nice and clean. And to make sure they're extra clean, I've got no germs at all. I'm just going to use a little bit of antibacterial gel to make sure there's nothing there. Because that's really, really important when we're cooking. The other thing that's important when we're cooking is that we're staying safe and that you've asked a grown-up, whoever you're with, your mum, your dad, or whoever you're with right now, um, whether you're allowed to do this as well because it can be a bit dangerous, we're dealing with the oven um, and you're using up their ingredients that are in their house, okay? So make sure you've checked with a grown-up before you start. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, and you're going to need an adult's help for this, is to turn on my oven to 170 degrees, 170 degrees centigrade. If you've got a gas oven, I believe it's gas mark four. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to mix our ingredients is we are going to put our 120 grams of butter, we're going to put that straight in a big mixing bowl. Put all of that in, 120 grams. And I've got a wooden spoon as well to mix it with. So I've made sure my butter is a bit soft because that's really helpful. It just makes it nice and easy for it to mix it up. You want to just get your spoon in and start mixing up that butter really nicely so that it goes nice and soft and we can mix it with the other ingredients much easier. So I'm going to do that. Let's have a bit of a chat to you. How's everyone doing? Have you been doing lots of nice things at home? Let us know on Twitter what you've been up to. Let us know if you decide to make anything as well. Perhaps you've done some cooking already and you can show us just what you made. Okay, so I'm getting that to really nice and soft now. If you have an electric mixer, um, that can be make it a lot easier and a lot faster, but it just works as well with a wooden spoon, so that's what I'm going to do this morning. Okay, that's looking really nice and soft now and all mixed in. So I'm going to pour in my 120 grams of sugar. I'm just going to pour it all straight in the bowl. Make sure it's all in there. Okay, then I'm going to work really hard to mix that in with the butter. We need to make sure it's really mixed in. And we're going to mix it until it goes a bit lighter. The colour looks a bit lighter than when we started. And it looks a little bit fluffy. And that makes sure our cakes are really nice and fluffy as well. So we're going to give that a really good mix. We're going to use those muscles be a bit tough again if you've got an electric mixer this bit's really easy but you can do it with a wooden spoon just as well good old mix you might even get your grown-up to help if it starts to hurt your arm a bit so if i just show you what mine looks like now i've been beating it for a few minutes it's nice and soft a bit pale okay so like i said i've been beating mine for few minutes now it's really nice and soft and pale and fluffy so we can set that to one side now and our next step is to take just a bowl just a small bowl like a cereal bowl or something and take your egg one egg and you're going to crack it really carefully into that bowl try not to get any shell in it we don't want that bit okay so I've got my egg in my bowl now and I'm going to take a fork and I'm just going to mix it up so then what we're going to do is once we're sure it's all mixed in. I'm going to take that fork out, I don't need that now. I am going to then pour my egg into the butter and the sugar, the whole thing, pour it all in. Brilliant. And then, if you do have your vanilla extract, now is the time to add it. So I'm going to take a teaspoon, just a small teaspoon, and pour in about a teaspoon. If you don't have vanilla extract, that's okay, this is optional just to change the flavour a little bit. 
So I've got my egg and my vanilla in the bowl as well with my sugar and butter. And I'm going to mix all of that in now as well. But really nice mix to make sure it's not lumpy. It's all mixed together before we add the flour. So you'll see it looks quite different now I've mixed that egg in. It's a bit thinner, a bit runnier, which means it's ready for us to add our flour. Now that we've got our butter, our sugar, our eggs and our vanilla all mixed together in the bowl, our next step is to add in our flour. But when we add in our flour, we don't want to mix it really, really hard or it makes the cupcakes a bit tough and a bit chewy. We don't want that. So we have to fold it in really gently. So I'm going to shake my flour in. You can sieve it if you want to, but you don't have to. We're going to pour all of it in. And then really gently, I'm just going to mix it all together with my butter and my sugar and my eggs and my vanilla. You'll see it starts to look a bit thick and a bit doughy, almost like it's gone wrong, but it hasn't. Just stick with it, keep folding it in really gently and it will get there. Okay, so I've mixed in all of my flour now and it's quite thick, so our next step before we bake the cupcakes is we're just going to add a tiny drop of milk, a little bit at a time, until it looks a bit thinner so that we can drop it into the cupcake cases. So I'm just going to add about, about a tablespoon you can use a spoon to measure it if you want. Mix that in and then see what it looks like. So let's give that a mix. Again, I'm doing it quite gently this time, just like I did with the flour. Okay, so that's not too bad now. It looks a little bit softer and it does drop a little bit. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more, about a teaspoon more maybe. I'm going to mix that in too. Make sure it's, you've mixed everything in, everything off the sides of the bowls. You don't waste any. Okay, that looks much, much better. I've mixed it all in. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've mixed all of that milk in now and it looks quite different. You see it kind of drops off the spoon a bit. And that's what we're looking for so that we can spoon it into our cases. It's our last step before we put our cupcakes in the oven. What we need to do now is we're going to take our cupcake tray that we've got out um, and we're going to take some cupcake cases. Now you can get these in all different colours. Um, plain ones, pretty ones, whatever you want. I've got these nice green ones that we're going to go for. And what you want to do is carefully, you're going to take one and you're going to put it in each holder. So there's one in each one until you fill it all up. So our next step now is to spoon our mixture into the cases. I like to do this with a big spoon and a little spoon and you might need an adult's help for this one just to make sure you don't get it on the sides. But you're just gonna take about a spoonful and scrape it off, just pop it off into the cupcake case. And there we go, we're gonna do that for all of them and they're all filled up and we've used up all of the mixture in the bowl. Okay, so I filled up my cupcake cases. You'll notice that some of them, they aren't quite perfect, but that's okay. They'll all come out tasting delicious, I'm sure. So the next part you're gonna need a grown-up's help for. The next part you will need a grown-up's help. We are going to put our cakes into the oven. So we're gonna carefully take our tray and we're gonna place it in the oven. Remember, I've heated it up to 170 degrees. Okay. So I've popped it in the oven and they're going to be in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so my timer is going off. Let's stop that one. Um, I think they're ready to get out the oven. So I'll get my oven gloves. Again, you'll need a grown-up to help you with this. Be really, really careful because they're going to be hot. Oh, they smell fantastic. Okay, so they've come out. They've got a bit of colour on them, they've risen a lot. So my cupcakes are out cooling now, they're on a rack and um, you can leave them like that and they'll be really, really delicious, they'll be a really nice treat for you. But if you want to do an extra little something, you can decorate them. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. If I show you the things you need. Um, you will need 140 grams of butter, 275 grams of icing sugar, um, a little bit of milk, again, some vanilla extract if you've got some, but if you haven't, don't worry. 
um, and some sprinkles or decorations, whatever you want to go on the top. I've made sure my hands are really nice and clean again, no germs at all by washing them with warm soap and water and I'm going to add just a little bit more of that hand gel again to make sure they're really really super clean. Put that in all over. Okay, now my first step to make the icing is I've got my butter and I'm going to pour that straight into my mixing bowl. Um, and you're going to have to, really sorry, once again use a little muscle and mix the butter up again really, really well. Now I've left mine out for a little bit so it goes a bit softer. That can help you um, to make it not quite so difficult to mix. But you have to be really strong and give it a really big mix. So I've been beating mine now for about five minutes. I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is what yours should look like too. To a spatula now but you can still use your wooden spoon, that's fine. It's really, really light now, the colour's changed, it's much paler and it's quite fluffy as well and that's what's going to make our icing really nice and soft. So our next step is going to be adding the icing sugar. I've weighed mine out into a bowl, you need 275 grams, okay? And um, we're going to add it half at a time, so you don't need to measure it but just so it looks about half. We're going to add the first half now. Now you can add it in using a sieve if you want and that'll just make your icing extra fluffy and soft. But if you don't have one or you don't want to use one, that's okay. Just add in half now, and we're going to mix that in, and then when that's completely mixed up, we're going to add the second half. So I'm going to add my first half now. So I've just looked, and it's about half. Left the other half in the bowl. I'm going to sieve mine in, but again, you don't have to. Don't want to. Makes a bit of a mess, I seem sugar, so be really careful not to get it everywhere like I am. And I'm going to use my spoon and my spatula now to just mix that in. It'll start being a bit hard um, and it'll look like we've added too much icing sugar and there's no way it'll mix up, but it will. You just have to stick with it. Um, so I'm going to mix all of that in and I'll be back when I've done it. Okay, so I've mixed it all in now. Um, it's quite soft, quite smooth. Um, so now it's time to add the other half of the icing sugar that we saved before. So I'm going to get my spoon out of the way. I'm going to put my sieve back on top and the other icing sugar that we saved in that bowl I'm just going to pour all in and make sure I don't leave any behind. Hope you guys have had fun making these cakes if you've given it a go. Make sure you send us your pictures um, or maybe even a little video um, of what you've been up to, whatever you've been doing. I'd love to see it. You can send us your pictures on the Twitter the Twitter page, either the Twitter page for your class or the Long Cross Twitter page for everyone. Or if you go on our school website, you can find the emails for each of the teachers and you can send pictures and videos and messages to your teachers to let them know what you've been doing whilst you've been at home. So I've mixed in all my icing sugar now, or I've poured it in, and I'm going to mix it in and I'm going to get my wooden spoon back. And I'm going to start to mix all of that in until that's really nice and smooth as well. Okay, so I've mixed it all in now. Um, it's really nice and smooth, but what you might notice is that it's gone quite hard. So what we're going to do is we're going to add just another drop of milk, um, about a tablespoon. So we're going to pour that in very carefully, you can measure it. Um, and then if you have that vanilla extract that you wanted to add, you can add about a teaspoon of that as well. So I'm going to take my teaspoon again, gonna measure it out, and pour it in. If you don't have that, that's okay, you don't have to use it, it just changes the flavour a little bit. So now I've added my milk and my vanilla, I'm going to give it another really good mix. Okay, so I've mixed up all my icing now, it's really nice and smooth and it's perfect for putting on the cakes. So I'm just going to take a little teaspoon and smooth some of it on. If you have a piping bag and things, you can do it that way, a little bit more fancy. But if you don't, that's okay, we can just use the spoon to put it on. So I'm just going to take a little bit on the spoon, pop it on top of my cake, give it a little swirl around, a little smooth. If you like a bit more icing, you can always grab a bit more and pop it on. Okay, and smooth it all around the cake until you're happy with it. Okay, so I've got a little bit of icing on all of my cakes now. I found that the icing recipe actually gave me a little bit too much, um, but that's okay because I can save it for later in case I decide to make some more cakes or perhaps some biscuits or something, and I can put it on those instead. Now, again, you can either leave them like that and they'll be really, really delicious, or you can pop on some um, extra decorations, so you can put some sprinkles, some hundreds and thousands, I've got some little coloured stars, um, some Easter ones, whatever you've got, um, some little chocolates, some mini eggs, whatever you fancy, 
um, and just pop a couple on the top to make them extra pretty. Because I'm going to be touching the sprinkles, I'm going to use some more of that hand gel again just to make sure they are super duper clean um, so that, that I'm passing on no germs to anyone I'm sharing my cakes with. So I'm going to put some decorations on the top and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Okay, so these are my finished cupcakes. I've done some hundreds and thousands, some sprinkles, some little stars, whatever you fancy. So those are my finished cupcakes. I'd love to see what yours look like. I hope you enjoyed um, this little video from me today. I know I certainly enjoyed making it for you. Please let me know if you decide to make these cupcakes as well um, and send me any pictures or videos or little updates um, of anything you've been doing at all. I'd love to see it. Um, so stay safe, look after yourselves and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.